All right, so back to this. Um, first thing first, we'll anticipate recording once today, but I'm getting this second one in. And the reason for that is it's quite possible I might not be able to record it all this coming week. Um, with Infinite Fusion, I was only really recording during the weekends. Um, the reason for that being I was catching up on Toby Can't Communicate. Or like I was reading the manga and every time I'd read it, I'd do a video. So basically, I just didn't really have the time to be able to record during the week. Um, this and the, the reason for this and why I may not be able to record this during the week is I'm actually going to be quite busy during the week. Like, like pretty, like actually very busy with work. So I know tomorrow for a fact I'm not going to be able to. That's a late day. Um, but it's quite possible for the rest of this week I'm not going to be able to. So I'm recording this double, right, in anticipation of quite possibly potentially not being able to record it all this week. Um, and I'm not going to be able to record next weekend too, right? Or at least, you know, I might be able to, at least on Sunday, but, you know, with Saturday, right? Probably not again. Just we'll, we'll see there. Um, maybe in the morning, but again, we'll, we'll see what comes down to. But at least not doubles. It probably only be singles, but again, just we'll see, right? We'll see. So I want to get this out now just in case, right? Um, but it is something to where that's part of the reason why I switched to, you know, DDLC mod, right? And with this mod that I'm very much enjoying uh, is because because work is going to be long, right? You know, I want to play something that I enjoy. In Infinite Fusion is kind of feeling like a grind and it was a good spot to kind of put down, right? And be like, all right, I'll continue this in our time. But, you know, with this, I'll say, right? What well, kind of comes down to is yeah i mean just we'll see it is what it is but there's our stuff i want to do right i'm probably not going to catch up on the shows at least not the only exception being mlb they released this new special that i'll need to watch to make a video on um but i don't know if that'll be tonight or just sometime during the week in substitution of this but again we'll see with this again we're really just continuing on um and again we're kind of getting into nazi's backstory again the big thing was she already regrets lying to Sayori, right? Which, if we take a look at her backstory and kind of her own insecurity as a coping mechanism, it which prevents really her from getting close to others, right? Any anyway, really, you know, that like even someone like Sayori, who's pretty good friends with Natsuki, you know, she isn't able to let her in. You know, in the MC talking about reminiscing over his time and childhood memories with Sayori, right? Kind of makes Natsuki realize what she missed out on, but also kind of I guess explaining why he's different, which, you know, one of my, again, you know, probably one of the main, like, sort of, because DDLC is a game of tropes, right? I mean, in stereotypes, the entire reason and purpose, I mean, that's literally a deliberate thing in the original game because it then pulls out the rug out from under you, right? You know, it's supposed to be as blatantly generic and, like, bland as possible. So, but, when it takes the time to flesh out the characters, you know, it's something to where, is this not picking up my voice? No, it should be. It, it's something where what it comes down to there, right? It's like, all right, you know, it, how they ride the line between how the characters are originally portrayed versus how they flesh them out. It's, it's kind of an art, right? You know, I'm, that makes it sound deeper than it is, but it is something to where like, again, you know, a lot of like, one thing that mods that generally like aren't as interesting to and a kind of pet peeve is where the characters like don't have any like development or like progression and they act just how they were in the original because it's like all right i mean you know and it's something to where i mean because in the original they're written to be as bland and stereotypical as possible right you know because that's the whole point but it's something to where if you take these mods right and you don't really give them development and just portray them as they were it's like all right what was the point of this you know and but what this leads to is scenarios like this, right? To where you know, if this is kind of original Nazi, right, pushing Sayori away and saying that the MC is different when she's known him for a week and Sayori for however long because she's designed and written to fall in love with the MC. Um, but that is something to where her regretting it and giving her backstory that's the development that we're seeing out of her in this mod specifically. So, and again, her kind of opening it up and really 
kind of talking about what she missed out on seeing that through the MC and actually kind of giving some reason as to why, you know, at the end of the day, she like feels he's different. So dad was dad. Damn, that's crazy. Love is the closest thing to a group of friends they've had in years. I had to bullshit him a little go to Monica's house, right? When did they go to Monica's house, right? Because she probably came up with some lie. But because we even get, if you take DDLC Plus as canon, we see Nazi's kind of old toxic friend group and how she moved away from that to the Lurch Club. Probably there a month or so back. So it was some club assignment. Literally, he's like, she's like, yeah, you know, it's for the club. Uh, want friends, you know. Because like, the, 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 and this is kind of the reality, right? In high school, I had very few friends that were just known by through school alone, like academics wise. Like there are very few friends they had that were just specifically like in school. Most of the friends I had were either from athletics or were just people who I'd known growing up and I'm still friends with, right? You know, very little and very few of them were just academics only, like the school part, part only. And if Natsuki's part of the go home club, because not because she wants to, but because she has no choice, you know, and kind of with how her own insecurity and coping mechanisms, you know, kind of push other people away, you know, you can kind of understand where this is coming. You're my best friend. Cause I mean, he was really kind of the one to be able to like break through and kind of help her out for as short of a time as they had known each other. You're... Damn, that's crazy. You're still like four eleven. There's something watchable. How about you go to sleep? Take you're not hungry, bro. She's literally not eating the entire bro. You're literally starving. Don't, don't front us. Nice dinner. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'd take up that offer. Like freaking. Yeah, you can do the whole like one meal day challenge, like or where it's like my cooking's not the greatest. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. You know, remember I don't well because he dropped those. Uh, definitely okay, but like that's there's a difference between cooking and baking. You know what's on the TV? Hold on, I suddenly light up. Oh wow, I haven't seen this in what is it? To see his car attention. What is it? Fish? Sw what are you? Fu it's two teenagers long the gaze at each other from both sides. Mushy love song. What is this? The movie for what? Hold on. What movie is this? What are they fucking talking about? Vibrantly colored fish swim throughout a large tank filled with coral. What is this? Scene drags out. Jump cuts. What? I don't know what, like, what is this show? Is this like in reference to a real show? Like, cause I have no idea what that would possibly be in reference to. Like, what is the show? Cause it's chances are it's something in real life. Like they're making some reference. What is this cut to black? All right. What is fuck? Damn. It's like, all right, 10 hours have passed. You know, I don't know. Damn. Freaking uh, a little over two. Damn. Jeez. Dude. Like, <clears throat> bro, you like, listen, I hate to say it what's the deal like and again this is why it's like this is like because here's the thing right so i'm 23 years old right i'm still young i'm a young adult i am like uh older gen z like that's where i put myself i'm not a millennial i'm not that old but i'm like older gen z and i'm a young adult right uh fresh out of college like this is something to where i'd say when did i like become like a quote unquote like adult when did i feel like i'd kind of grown up and matured probably sophomore to junior year of high school i'd say is about where i put it that's where i'd say like all right i because by college i was basically independent i was living on my own so i was like all right you know i'm at that point you know i'd say sophomore to junior year of high school is a good bet so like that'd be a point to where like i would be in this situation thinking all right what the fuck is going like for like the mc's plan is so fucking stupid i still can't emphasize that enough but that'd be the point to where it's like, all right, what's like, how do we go about doing this? What's next? Right. You know? Yeah. 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 Right. Middle school. I was pretty immature. Like I'm not even a front like in that, but sophomore junior year of high school was about the time where I kind of matured into like, I'd say early developed. By that point I turned 16. I could drive. I was looking at turning 18 and like voting and doing shit like that. You know, I actually voted when I was 17 because by the time the actual election rolled around, I was 18, but you know uh, yeah, a little loophole. Let's see. Bruh. That's yeah. Why, why you gotta fucking say that? Like, you know, I, 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 man, shut the fuck up is 
Brock, why are they going to do it? Her dad's going to like barge in and beat the fuck out of both of them. And he has like zero plan. Like, you know, like I hate to say it, you, you still got to think about that, right? Because what's, what's look, realistically, let's think about it. What's her dad going to do? He's going to get back, realize she's not there, you know, and basically be like, oh shit, you know, my daughter's gone. Like, if he himself is a slob, call the police. Or he's not going to call the police, like, go through a legal system and deal with it himself. But if he isn't in it, let's say he's actually, like, clean and covers his tracks, he can make the legal system his ally. Which, obviously, in this case, he's the one in the wrong. But because the MC didn't take advantage of that, again, that's the potential issue. Which would be bad, because then... Who is at fault for this black eye? He can put it on the MC, the one who kidnapped and took his daughter away from him. Especially if he covers his tracks and he's clean. You know, obviously, if he's a fucking, you know, slob and he doesn't cover his tracks, then he's just going to take it out and deal with it himself. If he finds any, like, incriminating evidence at all, like, the MC's kind of done for. Like, if that phone actually has the shit, like, we, you know, I don't want to say it's a coincidence we kind of got exposed to that ranking scene via that phone. If that has like evidence, you know, the MC is kind of done for, right? You know, obviously, the good thing is her father doesn't know the MC, right? But it is something to where he does know other people that she knows and can kind of go to them, right? So, you know, really, the MC just kind of fucked here. You're not going to be able to lay low forever. Like, unironically, that's it's a non sustainable thing. Maybe if you would like move towns or something. If they unironically took a train, moved across Japan, assuming it's in the East, maybe. Maybe that would, quite honestly, that wouldn't be too bad. But still, there's ways you can be found. Even if you, like, flee the country. But that's, like, an extreme measure. Like, this is, like, I can't emphasize enough. And granted, we know how this ends. But this is, like, really non-sustainable actions here. Like, their really only bet was to make use of that legal system, which he completely failed to do and made it, you know, and did make it his ally. So I don't, I'm going to be honest, I'm not paying attention what, uh, you know, the film was about, right? At least they made, it, but again, they didn't even bring Sayori in full. You know, this would be something where Monica would be thinking about, all right, what do we, like, she's someone you would need to go for this. Monica or Yuri, right? You know, Natsuki, the MC, even Sayori to an extent, they don't have the, like, thought process to actually come up with, like, a permanent long-term solution. But, you know, you feeling hungry yet? I sure do. Actually, yeah, he's like, bacon sit. Is that what you, like, normally make? I was going to say, damn, you know, freaking, uh, there's no, yeah, fucking, you should have done grocery, dumbass, you know. Yeah, bro, dude, like, you know, hey, Natsuki. Bro, damn, I wonder if he's going to run across her dad. You know, there's no bacon. We're running pretty long groceries in general. Got some bread, maybe a few slices of turkey. So you want some oats? Freaking oatmeal? Like, gross. Thought so. Hey, what's – I'm going to be honest. I'm not a big fan of oatmeal, but it's like, you know. Again, uh, yeah, no. Br freaking don't bring her. Terrible idea, right? She can eat the freaking turkey sandwich and, you know, so. This don't, don't, I swear to God, please don't fucking do this. Don't you dare. This don't, don't, please God, don't fucking do it. No, no, yeah, dude, don't, no, nope, 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 don't fucking do it. I swear you gotta be kidding me. There's no way that this is due. There is no fucking way. I refuse to believe that this dude, come on. How the fuck do you remember that? How does he, all right, whatever. Dude, no, don't fucking do this. This, don't fucking do this. Don't do this. Don't fucking do this, man. Dude, what do they look like? What are these going to look like? What do they look like? What do they? Dude, you can literally still don't please don't fucking go out. I'm begging you. Please don't. This is such a horrible idea. Dude, he's like, yeah, dude, fucking sit your ass here. Stay here. Yeah, stay here. You know, the shades aren't mine. Sayori's, you know, from years ago. 
I definitely get. I I how does he remember that? I yeah, don't flit. Thank fucking god. Thank fucking god. You know, bruh, fat ass. I was gonna say, dude. Thank god. Square but what? Oh, is this her phone number? What the fuck? Oh my god, she's making a whole ass list. Bro, if it imagine it just says literally chocolate, you know, bro. I still this is a pad of like, I, thank fucking Christ they didn't bring her. That would have been an abysmal idea. Like I can't. Where the fuck is this family? I'm making my way down the shopping district. Family store. Uh, this we haven't seen this background before. Autumn leaves flurry. Bitch, where fucking uh, is it fall right? Bitch, it's like October. Like, what are you talking about? All right, you know, actual grocery store. You know, get basket, pull out the piece of tit. Brother, dude. What, yeah, I was about to say, imagine it was just only chocolate. Like, because I don't know how much, dude, just get a, dude, limited budget. Yeah, your amount's limited by your budget, bro. Like, you know, dude, I'm not going to lie. You can just literally use your phone. I use the notes app in my phone. Like, you know, grilled fish and rice, you know. Is it just, hold on, wait, 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 wait a second. We're not going to let this slide. Is it just me or does Monica have like bags under her eyes? Like I, I, I hit right click. So the text box didn't come up. Dude, it looks like she's got like bags with her eyes, bro. She's not been like sleeping. She's been getting less sleep than them. Holy shit. That looks bad. Yeah. It's like, uh, oh, uh, what are you? Fancy. Bro, why are you still wearing your fucking uniform, uh, studious ass fucking cram school? Uh, you know, what's she doing here? It's like, why are you wearing what bitch? What do you mean? What's she doing here? What, what else do you do in a grocery store? Stupid ass question. Fucking, uh, gain some snacks for the club, bro. Yeah. Look, we're not going to let that. She definitely has like bags in her eyes. You know, do you don't look exactly? I'm a fucking idiot. I forgot it was a school day. I was about to be like, why the fuck? That makes sense. You know, that makes sense, right? She chuckles. Wait, hold on. Wait. Also, wait, stop. There's too much to unpack here. So I guess, you know, it's the district's close enough to school to where uh, she can either walk or drive over with the other thing being that, yeah, obviously prepping. She, I guess, you know, because she doesn't know that he, him and Natsuki aren't coming or like are staying at home, but, you know, yeah, bro, dude, that she looks awful, man. I'm not even going to lie to there's no way that's not deliberate. Like she looks terrible. Like I'm, I'm not even gonna, you know, listen to me. My mind's just fixing club, club, club. It's like, sorry, maybe it's time to a break. You do need a break. Your face looks abysmal. I can't even emphasize that enough, bro. She looks worse than like, I not been school day either. Wait, what do you mean either? Like, I'm assuming it's still a school. Like she's literally wearing, oh, he's just, all right, you know, a friend himself. But again, here, here, here's the thing, right? Because the only, I mean, obviously she knows about the whole stroke thing, but she doesn't know about the, again, the Natsuki MC situation. So Yori does, but she's not going to tell Monica or at least the full extent of it. You know, again, it's like, yeah. Cause at the end of the day, she's like worried. Cause like, he's kind of the one who's been dealing with like, well, he's kind even though the issues of math are people, he's kind of been the main one supporting them. Like the main effort there. So vague explanation. I'm fine. I just don't want, I mean, but here, this is the inherent issue, right? So Jesus Christ, bro. Holy shit. Dude, she good. It, it, it seems not dude, but it's the issue of if you don't open up and allow yourself to get help, like you're, you're like, no one's going to help you. Like, you know, you're just preventing that from happening and blocking that potential off, you know, option. Stress, yeah, dude. She looks I, I point that out. She looks fucking terrible, dude. Like, has she slept? No, like I point that was the first thing I said when we saw her model. You know, are you huh? I mean, are you okay? Uh uh. <laughs> oh, it's like, you know, just a little uh uh you know, it looks like she's being genuine. I'm I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, fucking I appreciate you asking. She said, Karen, you are. You know, it goes back to snack hunting. Nice one. Change the topic. What's where all those? 
I was playing a bit of a surprise. If you can't make it, I should reschedule. Oh, yeah. Bro, go. Dude, I'll definitely be. And this is, again, because, you know, this is why it's like, granted, you know, with, okay, but to be fair, the MC picked, like, the worst force of action for fucking breaking Sayori out, right? Or not, Jesus Christ, not Sayori, Natsuki. If he chose a better course of action, he could be at the club chilling, right? Same with Natsuki, you know? And it would all be, you know, business as usual, right? And you would avoid this whole, dude, she looks so fucking terrible. Not even, it's, it's actually funny. It's so funny. Oh, you know, it's, this is actually so fucking funny. I'm not going to get over this. I'm not going to get over this. But hold on. No, 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 no. Let's uh, actually do this one. <laughs> she looks so fucking terrible, man. But again, it's like, and, but at the end of the day, right? Cause it's like, Again, what it comes down to is it's like he's not the only one. Again, Natsuki's not the only one with problems. He's not the only one with problems. Sayori isn't, right? Mock is kind of dealing with her own. And this is why, like, you know, when you keep people out, you know, and they're kind of dealing with their own shit and their own problems, and they don't really understand kind of why you're doing what you're doing, and it affects them in a way and, you know, kind of screws them over. You know, even if they understand, it's like this face. It's like really like, because if you would just be honest and rope her in, granted, I'm not going to say like, what would you call it? You know, I'm not going to say tell her the truth or tell her everything, you know, but it is, and especially because club time's going to roll around and then she's going to see neither Natsuki nor the MC are there. It's like, all right, what the fuck's going on? You know, it, it, it's something to, where by just simply blocking them off, right, you're really not doing yourself any favors. And you're really just pushing it down the road, right? See, I'm just concerned. We're barely, yeah, because it's like, you know, it basically just doesn't exist without its members, right? She sighs and smiles. If you're able to come back next week, that's great. See, so yeah, I just show award snacks again. What's the occasion? Well, you know, Baron Ava, see where's been feeling. I mean, yeah, that's true, right? You know, because, but she's, she was at the club yesterday and she's going to be there today. And I mean, obviously, now Sayori knows at least somewhat about Natsuki and the MC situation. Granted, my art, because they didn't tell her the full truth and because, but our sneaking suspicion is she has her own, uh, what would you call it? Sort of, what's the term? Uh, she has her own sneaking suspicions anyway, right? Um, so the dice for her to cheer up. It's a nice plan out. Welcome back. You know, yeah, you no, know, that makes sense, right? So plan, I mean, because at the end of the day, you know, the club itself doesn't fucking matter, right? The festival flunked. You know, the festival just, you know, uh, right, failed, right? Just, you know, at this point, it's more about the members themselves as like a friend group, right? Which is always kind of how it was, right? Just Maka didn't realize it until, you know, that point. So it makes sense, right? And again, she herself even said, we're not a club without the members. So speaking of which, I can just suggest something. A large bar of white shock because turns over the bar and eyebrows, she raises, she... <clears throat> Her eyebrow tray, she reads the nutritional level. Bro, that shit's going to give you a heart attack. You're done for. Is this, don't worry about it. Sayori loves it. That's the point. This is Sayori we're talking about. Good call. A bit clueless. I mean, and again, but this is Monica's honest, like, self-assessment. Like, I mean, look at her and read this, right? You can get so much out of this one picture. You know, workaholic, perfectionist, you know, that is a bit extreme. But kind of just where her flaws in sort of, you know, drawbacks tend the direction that they tend to come from. So, but that honest self-assessment, you know, is like being transparent and honest with yourself is, you know, part of like improving. That. If I had known her 13 years, so don't worry about it. See, it takes a bang, grab a card of cupcakes. You know, let's see, since you're going to reschedule for it, wouldn't it be a good idea? Whole, I mean, you, dude, these things don't fucking expire. You, you already have them. Just buy them and keep them in your house. Well, I'm already here. Yeah, literally, you know, I can afford it. It'd be a waste to put all these back. Toss them in the fridge. They'll still be pressed by them. Bro, if they're like, uh, what are you going to do with the club instead? It's a good question. Uh, just, you know, write a poem during the club hours. Could encourage some cooperation. Because she's still not aware that Natsuki isn't coming, right? She only thinks it's the MC, which, and again, that was why she was concerned about him. Because at the end of the day, he has been going through a lot, supporting Sayori as well as, you know, kind of being with Natsuki, right? So, 
she thinks that's kind of taking a toll on him and that he needs just the day or like rest of the week off. But, you know, she's not aware of his and Natsuki. So she's still under the impression that Natsuki's going to show up. Because what's going to happen is she'll show up, Yuri and Sayori will show up, and they'll be like, all right, what the fuck's going on? Like, what's up with the MC and Natsuki? Like, you know, because they're immediately, I mean, obviously Sayori knows, but the immediate assumption is it's going to be involving them too, right? Like, that's not a separate event. You know, could you imagine Natsuki and Yuri at a poem together? Dude, this is like the... <laughs> Dude, oh my god, she looks so fucking terrible, bro. She needs some sleep. This is like the most stressed out face in existence, bro. This is like, this is like fucking, dude, stress. This is people like, this is like fucking, even though I was held back in high school and was never on like the AP grind, for me, it was much more about the athletic grind, uh, which came to bite me in the ass in college. That was much more of an academic grind, more so just with the sheer amount of like classes I needed to take, not even necessarily the rigor, but just like the amount. Um, but it is something to where I did avoid this kind of like level of like grind in high school, right? This is like, dude, this, she looks so fucking terrible. No, 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 this, uh, dude, it's so bad, bro. So she goes on uncharacteristic rapid tangent. I realized I can't really say anything again, but the, and this is why, like, like you, you can't put that off forever. You know, keeping secrets, like, this big, you know, that you don't really need to keep, it's non-sustainable. Because at the end of the day, right, people are going to figure out and make assumptions, have sneaking suspicions anyway. Yeah, dude, this is, like, I, honestly, I low-key kind of feel bad for Monica because she's just trying to, like, keep everything together. And, like, it's kind of all these – parties going off and doing their own thing like it's mainly the mc and like natsuki right so yuri obviously had her own incident but now she's back in the full swing of it so it's really kind of her and yuri keeping the club together but i mean yeah that'll definitely be interesting yeah Let's see well i guess this is where you part ways you sure you can't come to the club i'm Let's see oh crap running way later than should... bitch there's ain't no way it took that long you know it's nice. Wait, but then she needs to be like, all right, what's he running late for? If he was just taking a day off, what? Because it, it's like, but at the end of the day, you say this, but we know you just keep pushing the problem down the line, and it'll. Chances are, Monday will roll around, and you'll be like, oh, I'm too busy with some bullshit. Like, dude, you really gotta feel bad for her, man. But again, her sinking suspicions. All right, what would he be running late for? You know, I can feel her disappointment. Yeah, I mean, but like. At the end of the day, because she's she's actually, you know what's going to happen? She's going to get to the club. Nazi's not going to be there either. She's going to make the connection and be pissed as fuck. Like, again, you know, is not. but here, this is the issue. It's not going the way you thought it would because you refuse the help of others. You refuse to rope others in and bring them in as support. Sayori would have been perfect. That's what I, you know, th the first thing would have been that. And Monica, like, honestly, making it a whole club thing. Like, because you all are dealing with your own issues and you all need support. And at this point, he's kind of aware of two of them going on, right? Sayori Natsuki's, right? Obviously, it seems to be Monica and Yuri kind of keeping the club together. They can be the ones who can help out too, right? But he just refuses to let that happen. And this is the case in real life too. Like, if you refuse the support of others when you need it, like, you know, you're really kind of only bring this on yourself, right? You can't, you're only one person. You can't do everything, Right. She looked like she had everything to – bro, yeah, she's fucking – because, like, again, and now she's stressed about both Sayori and what she perceives to be Natsuki's situation, right? And especially with kind of the failure of the festival, you know. That's another thing, right? You know, and then fucking, um, like, Yuri's really kind of the only one who's, uh, you know, her and Yuri, right, keeping things together. I probably wouldn't have joined. Damn, that's a pretty – because – but again, to be fair, he brings this on himself. Who would? If fun poems. Yeah, dude, this is like, he's having a moment of clarity. He's like, damn, this was a mistake. Who knew joining the club of only women would God, bring me this much stress? But again, you know, let's see, regardless of how I'm not leaving anytime soon. I mean, yeah, that's true. And Sayor would literally be dead. So, you know, yeah, dude's having a panic attack, bro. Like, you know. Yeah, it doesn't matter. It didn't happen. Like, this is now where we're headed. You know, all that matters is the future, right? Fuck, still haven't read a single book. 
No way. I mean, he fucking read the uh, manga, but, you know. Damn, freaking, yeah, his shoulder's still fucked. Bro, yeah, just, this is like, this is, I feel like, a story of, because I, I remember which, which, what mod am I thinking of, right? I'm, I'm thinking of, a, there was a mod that was, like, very similar to this, you know, that had kind of, like, a similar premise that ended, like, I can't think of which mod it was, but there was a mod that was very similar where it's, like, he kind of, you know, it was kind of this, like, same situation. And it had like a bad ending. I can't remember, but the, the premise is like, you know, you really need to kind of like rope other people and have that support structure. Because if you don't, then you're just fucked. Like, this is what happens. You know, like, this is the result when you try to do everything yourself. So, Natsuki. Let's see. Them slouches on the side. Slide out in plain view. Where the fuck did she come from? Yoink. I was planning to make some actual food first. Little appetizer, fat ass, you know. So I just got some cupcakes. Take anything. Literally starving, you know. You know, which I, I think I, I vaguely remember it. It maybe it was true route. Maybe it was unironically true route. It might have been. I just I genuinely don't remember. You know, white chocolate rules overall. That's uh blatant lies. You know, if you don't mind me, I'll go ahead and sub some dinner. I'll come and help. Stay put. Dude, literally, you know, he's it's a self-fulfilling. He's literally going to have, like, a heart attack or some shit. Like, dude is fucked. Like, you know, I did move in. You know, it's like hard. It's like, bitch, fucking, how about I sublease out, you know, this room? You can pay, like, 500 rent a month. Like, you know, our, our, what the fuck kind of laugh is that? That's amazing. What it? Bro, you know, freaking, I wish I had my phone with me. How about I give you another black eye? You know, at least I can pull it off. Go find something fun to watch, bro. It's like this is the this is the and guess who's arriving home right now? Old dad, old father, right? You know, again, this is like you can't do everything yourself. That's all this is indicative of, you know. What did he make? What did he make? Hold on, serviceable. What the fuck did he make? You know, oh, they got the fucking uh drapes uh closed. What what is the we don't know what the meal is. You know, what is the meal? We we still don't know what it is, bro. Like, she's tearing through it, and bro, starving. You know, starvation, starvation. Take a breather, jeez. This is we don't know what it is. She chokes like eh, eh, fucking Jesus Christ. She paused before finally swallowing. What I was trying to say is it's pretty good. We don't know what it is. We some meanings. Man, shut the fuck up. Like regrets. It's just a dude, like, dude, this dude needs to just chill the fuck out. He needs to, like, dude. But he put himself in this, like, I was going to say, at the end of the day, you can't blame him. You kind of can't. Because this is, like, it, this is the result of impulsive decision-making. Like, letting your kind of, you know, emotions and feelings drive your actions, right? Because this, the, here's a, like, imagine how much better of a position he'd be in if he either... And obviously, you know, the whole point is it falls through in the end. We know this. We play the original. But just think for a second. Imagine how much better of a position he'd be in if he either, A, just called CPS off the rip. B, you know, just simply had Natsuki pack a bag and bring her over. And wrote Sayorian and the whole club. In. Or C, just wait it out the month and then make the legal system your ally, right? But instead, he's trying to do everything about stressing the fuck out of it. You know, probably best you didn't come to the store with me. Oh, yeah, dude, that would have been bad. I ran to Monica. She, yeah, bro, dude. And now we know because it's like she's not going to be there and Monica's going to immediately make the connection. You know, I told her it's going to be a no-show. She moved it to Monday. So, huh? Something about that rubs me the wrong way. I don't know, Sayori. Just look, imagine if everyone knew about my situation. They decided to throw me a surprise. Well, but the, here's the issue, though, right, with that thinking. Because, I mean, you have a point, but it's also more so support to show that you're there. For you. It's not going to be like a surprise party, like you fucking pull the fireworks, the party poppers, be like, oh, congratulations, you got over your mental illness, right? You know, or, oh, you're still alive, right? It, it's a show of support in a relax, a moment of relaxation and break, right? Versus the, oh, poem grind, right? So Natsuki does have a point, 
but that's also it's not like a surprise like surprise party like this is like and especially because she didn't she was there yesterday this is more so like oh we're here for you we support you right because your actions speak louder than words and also especially given that neither either the mc or natsuki are even showing up and have kind of just bailed and trying to do everything on their own like they're really not in a position to kind of you know like really kind of go about this or like uh think about it this way right but here's the thing the reason why is because you don't let them in like they know what Sayori is going through because she was open, honest, and transparent. She did the right thing. The issue with this is they've closed off and have, you know, pushed away everyone else in any kind of support. So, you know, their own situation is of their own doing and making. But again, this is also coming from Natsuki's own insecurity and coping mechanisms. This is kind of the drawbacks to her character, right? And that's just due to her situation. But it's also the flawed uh, perspective and lens that she's looking at it, through, right? From someone who wouldn't let people in anyway, this seems like a bad idea. But from people who are actually like looking for support and like actually want to be open, honest and transparent and work and deal with their issues, like this is a show of support, a sign of support. Yeah, because it's like, you know, you need to take this into consideration. Because... Natsuki's, I'm, I'm not going to lie, Natsuki's just blatantly wrong in this situation. Like, granted, if it were, like I said, you know, fireworks and party poppers, different story. But this is just a moment of relaxation and a sign of support and, uh, again, just what the club really is. So, again, you know, I guess the way this story is going to try to portray it is that, oh, Monica's workaholic perfectionist nature doesn't make her realize this. But she's in the right here. Like, this is a good thing for Sayori. It's just Natsuki and the MC kind of off doing their own thing and looking at it through the wrong lens and perspective. You know, Monica seemed kind of out of it today. She's stressed out. I mean, yeah, dude, she looks fucking horrible. Like, not even gonna lie, bro. Those two, those two, uh, for all stuff, the festival falling apart. Yeah, like, she's literally, like, barely keeping it together, right? Her and Yuri. See, it's something to go, right, you know? You said, so yours not like you. Maybe she will appreciate it. Like, I, I do think like, this is the right move, granted, for something like – in. it's not like a, oh, they don't know about Sayori's situation because they literally do. They know she has suicide attempt and was hospitalized and is now back. Like, this isn't like Natsuki where she lied about her dad having a stroke and this is a surprise party for that when, in actuality, uh, she gets beat by her dad because she doesn't let anyone in, you know? Yeah, like, let's see. We're only halfway done. So yeah, are you shut the fuck up? What even is it? We still don't know what he made. I was just messing with you. Thanks for reminding me of the. Okay, for that alone, we're kicking her out of the house. Ain't no way you fucking called it chalky. The, the dumbest meme in existence. I still remember this. The dumbest meme that has ever come about to fruition is the whole chalky milk thing. That was so fucking stupid. Like, there's no worse meme. Like, even memes today that people like shit on. There's still nothing worse than chalky milk. Like, that was the dumbest fucking thing that was, like, you know, brought about. Like, hey, yeah, you know, Mike still wants us to write poems. We should sit. Hey, first off, she didn't say that. She said they were going to do in club. B, you know, why the fuck you bring this up? What, you know, I about we do our poems separately and we save them for the club? Yeah, literally, you know, all the trash drafts. It's the fun part. Bro, just write some bullshit on a fucking piece of paper. You know, we weren't there, you know, again, right? So, honestly, I might just try and make a star on mine now. You do that. I'm going to hit the hay. Yeah, literally not fucking sleep. Like, you know, let's see. If you're going to go live in my house, it's like I'm going to leave you on bed. I mean, yeah, and ironically, like, dude, like, let's see, I turn the gesture. You know, good night. Damn, freaking dude, is it? There's no way it's this late. What was it all about? There's no way it's this late. Is it, what the fuck, bitch, fucking made in heaven? Why the fuck is it so late? Like, what the fuck, dude? There's no way it's this late. Bitch, fucking made in heaven? Is the universe reset happening? Why is time moving so quick? Like, there was no, Saturday, because it was Friday, right? Saturday, 30, September 2017. I'm pretty sure I ran a cross-country meet at roughly this time. Jesus Christ. Yeah, swiping it, bro. Just fucking Jesus Christ, bro. Dude, 
does does anybody use like an actual physical alarm? I use my phone. Like, start my day. Bro, what time is it? Living room, sinking to the couch. Bro, what the fuck? Ah. Oh. What and here's the question: What's Natsuki's dad doing right now? By now, he knows his daughter isn't there. And I guess kind of the question that has to be raised is, all right, what's his plan? But what we're going to do is we're going to end it here. I'm leaving these two, bro. That, those are honestly so hilarious. Like, you know, again, but here's what's going to happen. Load. This is the I love you, right? Yeah, freaking Rip Sayori. Uh, dude, this, <laughs> dude, she looks so fucking terrible, bro. Oh, I'm not even going to lie. But, yeah, just, uh, again, we'll see, I guess, in the next one. We'll see where this goes. Really, if anything, this story should be about, this should be a tale of impulsive decision-making. And, again, you know, impulsive decision-making, right? And what impulsive decision-making and a lack of support will do to someone. But with that, we'll see. We'll see what happens in the next one. So, yep, that's it for this one. See you in the next one.